I don't know that we fully appreciate the level that we're observed. And I think the nature of surveillance has changed now, right? If everything is constantly recorded, they can actually do retroactive surveillance. The government can. And there's something unsettling about that. I make uh, little art machines. Um, I kind of began my life as a mechanical engineer building uh, automation. And I've spent uh, the last few years trying to combine fine art and machinery. I was interested in exploring what it was like to have machines that were all exactly the same, but each one was unique at the same time. So the eyeball works really well for that. You start painting a lot of eyeballs, you realize how unique eyes are. They're all very, very different. And the eyeballs were all based on people that I had met. It's sort of the um, uncanny valley of eyeballs. You want something that looks like an eye, but you don't want it to look like a doll. So somewhere in between there, it can be realistic enough that it's unsettling and creepy, but not so creepy that it becomes a horror show. <laughs> Blink was installed for the first time at the Institute of Contemporary Art in San Jose. It comes in a series of pieces that I made that involve eyeballs. And, and, and sculptures that look at you and that while you look at them. It's an installation of 20 eyeballs. Like Look, they follow people around the room that tread, does face tracking. Uh, but the eyelids make it, I think, maybe a little bit more menacing. You're not looking down on it. It's not diminutive in any sense. And with 20 of them, kind of the goal was to overwhelm someone looking at them. You're really never sure which machines are looking at you. You can only look at one or two machines at a time and then you realize that some of the other machines you weren't looking at have been observing you all the while. You would have these interactions with them and hopefully enjoy yourself uh, playing with these eyeballs, only to go around the corner and discover that you had been recorded and observed the entire time by multiple eyeballs. And that anyone in that room was watching those video feeds and observing you doing that. And it kind of shifted your view of what was happening there. It changed it from being fun to being kind of invasive. A lot of times I do everything I can to hide the technology. That being said, there's a whole bunch of that that has to go into it. I spend most of my day kind of struggling with it. I mean, if I were a nefarious sort, I suppose I could have collected all that information. But uh, I really wasn't interested in observing people. I was interested in pointing out that they were being observed and highlighting how invasive that was. I mean, how many of us stop using Google or Facebook? We lose ground every day in the, in the realm of personal privacy and none of us are particularly comfortable with it, but none of us can really see a way out of it. And so we kind of shrug and, and go forward with it. Um, and that's unsettling.